Hi everyone, welcome once again to our platform Gretchen and Pam on property. My name is Pamela from STVB in Elovo and this is my friend and colleague who hails from the Bedford View branch. Hi everyone. Welcome to our platform where we speak all things property, we engage you all things property, we bring you all talk property and this is an opportunity once again to give you some heads up on what your property journey is like. So um, we've been chatting on a few clauses of a sale agreement and today we thought that um, there's a term for those that have bought property or those that are yet to buy um, and we want to, by the time you engage into that sale agreement, you understand what that term means and the term is footstools. What is that you ask? And if I had to do a direct illustration, Pamela, I would say it's literally almost as if the seller pushes the property away <laughs> with their feet. <laughs> so it's, obviously a seller wants to sell. They want to get rid of it. So a buyer then must accept it as is. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's exactly the definition of that in, in, in basic terms is that you're buying a property as is. So... Where, do, where does this fit in? This fits into the fact that before you buy a property, um, the purchaser will obviously arrange a viewing um, and they will inspect the property. And while they're inspecting the property, there are certain defects that will be visible to the naked eye and there are those that are not. And so the purchaser will obviously have to say, hey, there's a crack, Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller, will you please, or Mr. Seller, will you please fix that? Um, so that's basically the process. And there are certain defects which basically you'll just have to accept as a purchaser. They're part of the, they come with the property. So you'll be buying the property as is. Yes, and then for buyers, obviously not to be shy when they go and do that viewing, you know, ask if it's an agent taking you for the view, ask questions, ask the seller questions. This yeah. is not the time to be shy, you know. You should be maybe drawing the crime stats for the area. At the end of the day, the onus is on you as the buyer to do a thorough expect, uh, um, ex inspection rather <laughs> and um yeah. you know so make sure you know because another explanation for foot stewards is buyer be aware yeah buyer be aware and and for sellers then obviously we, we have advice for sellers as well you know disclose um most sale with with our sale agreement in practice there is always um a disclosure form that the seller completes you know um where you'll say that um you know um there, there's a leak um that 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 usually is prevalent during summer um you know and there's a there's a behind that room, room divide or behind that uh painting there's a bit of a crack you know things like that disclose um be fair and be honest I think it might be a bit of a challenging exercise for a seller who's owned a property maybe for 20 years, Pamela. If you think about it, there could be that floorboard in the kitchen that cracks when they make the cup of coffee, you know. Yeah. So you've been obviously walking over that floorboard for the last 20 years. You don't even hear it anymore. <laughs> so if we could give our sellers a bit of advice is maybe try and look with your, you know, look at your property with fresh eyes. Yeah. Go and spend some time in each room, you know, have a look outside the property. It's rather better to be upfront and honest with that disclosure form. And as we said in our previous in our previous um, episode, you know, you need to know that once this inspection is done and you've signed on the dotted line, you are going to get the property as is. Except obviously for the defects that you have noted as a buyer and the seller has agreed that they'll attend to fixing those defects, then it's done. So we, 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 we highly recommend that you take your time when you're viewing as the buyer and the seller take the time also to disclose what's in there. And we obviously know that people, we're not all, we're not all property savvy in terms of the, the technicalities of building and all of that. There are companies out there that can assist you. Um, call us and let us know where we can assist you. Know Where can we guide you when you're entering into these things? And I mean, some of the companies that will help with inspections are available, right, Gretch? There are these companies that will help a buyer with an inspection, but I think you, the buyer, when you receive that report in return, just also be realistic in your expectations of a property because you might not be having a new property. Mm -hmm. Even with brand new property, you know, there could also be a snag yeah. list. So be realistic also in your expectations when you buy a property. Here we go. So in basic terms and in simplicity, we just want to say that what you're buying, you're buying a property as is, whatever you've just whatever has been disclosed and whatever the purchaser is also taking as, as the property as is, that's what you'll be getting. So chat to us some more. If you have any questions, 
we'll be we have our email addresses that are available call us engage us if we didn't touch on something that wasn't clear on you please call us and yeah we hope you guys have a fantastic day further that's all from gretchen and pam on property bye, bye.